Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Chimera Elite and today this is the pretty much the first time that I've played the lion for quite a while actually and this is the week that, because I don't have any money obviously, but this is the week that Cillian of Laverne is free. So I'm kind of messing around with army compositions and whatnot and it's just my luck that I get paired up with another line player whose composition is very nearly exactly my own like the only differences are I think he has one uh, Valkyrie and more frontliners more infantrymen um, I personally like my current comp just because being it's kind of in my blood at this point i've played so much wolfen that it's really hard for me not to be aggressive also i just like being aggressive in general so being able to deal pretty large amounts of damage quickly really really just pushes my buttons in the right way i love doing it and pretty much the only way to do that easily is with archers and also Cillian can pour out an astonishing amount of damage with headshot double shot and surprisingly also I've actually found use in a few games I lost later on for the for her ult um, Mirage Cloak which allows her to get away pre pretty much scot-free and yeah that's kind of what I'm, what I've been up to right now, but I'm this this for at least right now. What I'm kind of doing right now is trying to recalibrate my brain to how the line play, because I'm just I'm just trying to widen my areas of expertise, I guess. Because right now I can play Wolfen pretty well, and I'm pretty decent with them at this point, at least. And I kind of know when I'm stretching out a little bit too far, when I'm moving a few hexes too far, and I'm really not somewhere where I should be. With the lion, it's way different because of just... They're a totally different army with a totally different playstyle. And... Not only in this game... But in pretty much all the other games that I've played, I have overextended. Because, again, I was up against, uh, I think I was up against uh, another Lion player, I lost to him, and I was up against a Wolfen player. And I overextended. Now, against the Wolfen, it's especially uh, dangerous to overextend. But there was also another, another reason that I lost. It was on this map. And one huge thing that I use a lot, at least... For Emerok and Cillian, I use their elixir abilities a lot because they're extremely powerful and useful. Not elixir abilities, but their orders per se. And because they're so powerful, I make it a priority to have control of the, well, control points. And because of that, Especially on this map, especially uh, if you're up against either, just if you're up against anyone really, and they have ranged units, so lion especially, obviously. But you're putting yourself directly in their line of fire if you want quick control and just quick elixir points, just just right off the bat. If you want that, you have to overextend, and I again. I've played three games. I lost two out of those three games. You're, what you guys are watching right now, that's the one game that I actually won. And it, this was still close. Speaking of which, the, uh, the, the other Lion game was pretty damn close too. But uh, the game being what it is, and essentially a game of chance, you're getting percentages, I had... Quite a few too many scattering shots. Quite a few too many um, 
lucky shots made by the enemy as in hitting like a 40% chance or hitting a 30% chance on just a random guy because I checked believe me whenever I do anything I usually make an, an educated guess is this a good idea yes no I guess it wasn't oh well I deal with the consequences and I lose but again I am really new to the lion I'm liking them but it's weird like I like the lion true but they're just so different from what I'm used to. Because with the Wolfen, you're a constantly encroaching force that just charges in and screws them. And your, your objective is to screw them up as quickly and efficiently as possible and catch the right units out before they can really get set up or anything. That's a your prerogative that's your job as a wolfen player get in there fuck them up as quickly as possible before they can do the same to you the lion on the other hand are totally different they are um if, if any of you have played starcraft they're more like the zerg creep they just kind of sit there and slowly move forward you can't really stop them but they slowly move forward. If you kill them off before they do, which is what you typically do with the Wolfen, you're golden. But it was it's such a big change in playstyle for me that it's I'm probably gonna have to play another like ten games before I, I even really get into the meat and potatoes of what they're all about. Now this is unfortunately a really really slow game so if you guys want to skip around because I'll because to be honest not a whole lot happens until uh, later on in the game because again putting it simply we are our two armies that are nine I think I have nine units and he has nine units so this takes a while also, the really big plays that uh, decide the match happen a lot later. So, you can just skip ahead, do whatever, or just stick around. I'll start playing some music and so just sit back and relax. I'll see you when shit actually starts happening.
And again, sorry about the frame rate drops. I think it has something to do with fraps. I'm gonna try to work it out as quickly as I can so it's not so screwy in the next video. So, yeah, sorry about that. Hello again, and if you guys have been watching, I made a few really, really ballsy moves uh, earlier on. For one, I kind of rushed up my troops on the right and left, and left the archers further in the back, and it probably wasn't the best idea at the time, uh, mostly due to the kind of obvious fact that that, well, all of my troops were getting utterly just destroyed by constant fire from the from his supporting archers, and the ones that were in melee combat, the ones that were engaged, were honestly getting fucked up too, because they were outnumbered, and he was just doing a better job at picking out better targets. Now one thing that doesn't necessarily piss me off, but it kind of made me laugh for the majority of this game, 
was the enemy's constant use of double shot. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, double shot is something I literally only use on either someone who's extremely hurt and at that point where I can't really, you know, accept uh, or use uh, either an offensive stance or a fire at will, meaning they're, they're, I need them elsewhere. Um, really, double shot is something I use as like a last ditch effort. Or it's something that I use on Selen. Selen. Because it, ha it gives you such a huge, just absolutely huge penalty for your attacks and in this game every attack that you make has to count in some way if it doesn't count you just wasted that unit's turn and at this point it's literally just those three guys on the on the left side just duking it out that guy this guy whew, he's actually doing a really good job again sorry for the frame rate drops I'm working on it uh, and here, I just kind of say, fuck you to every single one of these guys. I go for the Valkyrie because, admittedly, while the Archer has higher uh, damage potential, just because of double shot, uh, I am better equipped to dodge those shots. Firstly, and secondly... Even Celia, I don't want her being engaged. Again, she has her Mirage Cloak, and that's why it's so nice to have it. To have it. Uh, but even then, I don't really want to put her in that much danger. She can get out of it, but again, the less danger that little pixie is in, the better. This guy's holding his own against two other guys, getting a little support fire from his friend over there in the back of that support shooter. But all good things must come to an end, and down he goes. This support shooter really pulled its weight. Really pulled her weight, rather. And uh, in these upcoming turns, she just racks up the kills. Plus, I haven't used any of my... Um, Wow. Divine something other. I always forget what that's called. I'm just going to call it Divine Intervention for now until I actually use it. But here's, here it is again. Here it is again. The guy uses Double Shot on someone who has 15 dodge. You don't use Double Shot. I use Aim. Why? I don't know. I just kind of like being able to hit things really, 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 really hard. But, yeah, I, I'm like, eh, aim. Mostly, again, I'm trying to, th she's within, um, kill range. So I'm like, eh, I can make that. I don't make it, but she dies soon enough. Don't worry, she dies soon enough. Now, these guys are teaming up on me. You know, double teaming. It's too bad. I literally just, I literally just say, Fuck these guys, pardon my French, and use, I don't know why I didn't, well, I guess I used fire at will, or, oh yeah, actually true, I forgot, fire, keep in mind, fire at will, I should have kept this in mind, but fire at will stays around for two turns, I always forget about that, and that's why it's so dang useful, and this guy could have won, possibly, if he had just decided to shoot me like a normal person but he doesn't and he decides to use double shot which gives him a minus eight a minus eight to accuracy it gives him something in the range of four accuracy that's a no-no you don't want four accuracy as Especially when you're shooting at someone like Cillian. And I sh I hit him for 
34 damage. That is literally almost a, you know what, fuck you. That's almost a kill that right. That's why I like Cillian, because she can just pour out so much freaking damage. That and her ult, her order, fire well, is so freaking useful. It's literally a free offensive stance with no penalties whatsoever. If I wanted to, I could probably use fire at will one turn, and the next turn just use uh, offensive stance, and that's three shots from a bowman. That's a lot of damage. That's quite possibly just a kill right then and there. And I also get a kill outright, which... Okay, I'll take the kill that right. Like, thank you. I didn't really need it, to be honest. Let's be honest here. I didn't need a kill outright. It's nice, because I was really low on health, and he had, and see, he still had both of his defensive stances. I don't know why he didn't use them. He had all of his orders. I'm like, holy shit. Why, wh what's wrong with you? Again, possibly a new player, which is kind of sad. I, they really need to get matchmaking up and running. Um, just because I... Admittedly, this was a close game. Kudos to the guy for making it a close game. But, again, no offense. If he had played competently, I I almost certainly would have lost. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you around. And, I might actually be streaming soon, but... It's, no, it's nowhere near set in stone. Peace.